Dedication to Joseph Mazzini by Algernon Charles Swinburne Read for LibriVox.org by Elizabeth Parsons Take, since you bade it should bear, these of the seed of your sowing, blossom or berry or weed, sweet, though they be not, or fair, that the dew of your word kept growing, sweet at least was the seed men bring you love offerings of tears and sorrow the kiss that assuages and slaves the hate offering of wrongs and time the thanksgiving of years and years the thanksgiving of ages i bring you my handful of songs if a perfume be left if a bloom let it live till italia be risen to be strewn in the dust of her car when her voice shall awake from the tomb england and france from her prison sisters a star by a star i bring you the sword of a song the sword of my spirit's desire feeble but laid at your feet that which was weak shall be strong that which was cold shall take fire that which was bitter be sweet it was wrought not with hands to smite nor hewn after swordsmith's fashion nor tempered on anvil of steel but with visions and dreams of the night but with hope and the patience of passion and the signet of love for a seal be it witness till one more strong till a loftier lyre till a rarer lute praise her better than i be it witness before you my song that i knew her the world's banner-bearer who shall cry the republican cry yea even she as at first yea she alone and none other shall cast down shall build up shall bring home slake earth's hunger and thirst lighten and lead as a mother first name of the world's names rome and a poem this recording is in the public domain Prelude by Algernon Charles Swinburne Read for LibriVox by Simona Russo Between the green bud and the red Youth sat and sang by time And shed from eyes and tresses Flowers and tears From heart and spirit hopes and fears Upon the hollow stream Whose bed is channeled by the foamless years And with the white the gold-haired head Mixed running locks and in time's years youth's dreams hung singing and time's truth was half not harsh in the years of youth between the bud and the blown flower youth talked with joy and grief an hour with footless joy and wingless grief and twin-born faith and disbelief who share the seasons to devour and longer these made up their sheaf felt the winds round him shake in shower the rose-red and the blood-red leaf delight whose germ grew never grain and passion died in its own pain then he stood up and trod to dust fear and desire mistrust and trust and dreams of bitter sleep and sweet and bound for sandals on his feet knowledge and patience of what must and what things may be in the heat and cold of years that rot and rust and alter and his spirit's meat was freedom and his staff was wrought of strength and his cloak woven of thought for what has he whose will sees clear to do with doubt and faith and fear swift hopes and slow despondencies his heart is equal with the seas and with the sea's winds and his ear is level to the speech of these and his soul communes and takes cheer with the actual earth's equalities air light and night hills winds and streams and seeks not strength from strengthless dreams his soul is even with the sun whose spirit and whose eyes are one who seeks not stars by day nor light and heavy heat of day by night him can no god cast down whom none can lift in hope beyond the height of fate and nature and things done by the calm rule of might and right that bids men be and bear and do 
and die beneath blind skies or blue to him the lights of even and morn speak no vain things of love or scorn fancies and passions miscreate by men in things dispassionate nor holds he fellowship forlorn with souls that pray and hope and hate and doubt they'd better not been born and fain would lure or scare off fate and charm their doomsmen from their doom and make fear dig its own false tomb he builds not half of doubts and half of dreams his own soul cenotaph whence hopes and fears with helpless eyes wrapped loose in cast-off circles rise and dance and wring their hands and laugh and weep thin tears and sigh light sighs and without living lips would quaff the living spring in man that lies and drain his soul of faith and strength it might have lived on a life's length he hath given himself and hath not soul to god for heaven or man for gold or grief for comfort that it gives or joy for grief's restoratives he hath given himself to time whose fold shuts in the mortal flock that lives on its plain pastures heat and cold and the equal years alternatives earth heaven and time death life and he endure while they shall be to be yet between death and life are hours to flush with love and hide in flowers what profit save in these men cry ah see between soft earth and sky what only good things here are ours they say what better wouldst thou try what sweeter sing of or what powers serve that will give thee ere thou die more joy to sing and be less sad more hard to play and grow more glad play then and sing we too have played we likewise in that subtle shade we too have twisted through our hair such tendrils as the wild loves wear and heard what mirth the minads made till the wind blew our garlands bare and left their roses disarrayed and smote the summer with strange air and disengirdled and discrowned the limbs and locks that vine wreaths bound we too have tracked by star-proof trees the tempest of the theades scare the loud night on hills that hid the blood feast of the passerid heard their song's iron cadences fright the wolf hungering from the kid outroar the lion-throated seas out chide the north wind if it chid and hush the torrent-tongued ravines with thunders of their tambourines but the fierce flute whose note to claim dim goddesses of fiery fame cymbal and clamorous kettle-drum timbrels and tabrets all are dumb that turn the high chill air to flame the singing tongues of fire are numb that called on cotis by her name hedonian till they felt her come and maddened and her mystic face lightened along the streams of thrace for pleasure slumbered less and pale and passion with rejected veil pass and the tempest-footed throng of hours that follow them with song till their feet flag and voices fail and lips that were so loud so long learn silence or a wearier wail so keen is change and time so strong to weave the robes of life and rend and weave again till life have end but weak is change but strengthless time to take the light from heaven or climb the hills of heaven with wasting feet songs they can stop that earth found meet but the stars keep their ageless rhyme flowers they can slay that spring thought sweet but the stars keep their spring sublime passions and pleasures can defeat actions and agonies control and life and death but not the soul because man's soul is man's god still what wind soever waft his will across the waves of day and night port or shipwreck left or right by shores and shoals of good and ill and still its flame at mainmast height through the rent air that foam flakes fill sustained indomitable light whence only man hath strength to steer 
or helm to handle without fear. Save his own soul's light overhead, none leads him, and none ever led across birth's hidden harbor bar, past youth where shoreward shallows are, through age that drives on toward the red vast void of sunset hailed from far, to the equal waters of the dead. Save his own soul he hath no star, and sinks, except his own soul guide, helmless in middle turn of tide. No blast of air or fire of sun puts out the light whereby we run with girded loins our lamp-lit race, and each from each takes heart of grace and spirit till his turn be done, and light of face from each man's face in whom the light of trust is one, since only souls that keep their place by their own light and watch things roll and stand have light for any soul. A little time we gain from time to set our seasons in some chime, for harsh or sweet or loud or low, with seasons played out long ago, and souls that in their time and prime took part with summer or with snow, lived abject lives out or sublime, and had their chance of seed to sow for service or disservice done to those days dead and this their son. A little time that we may feel, or with such good works or such ill, as loose the bonds or make them strong, wherein all manhood suffers wrong. By rose-hung river and light-foot rill, there are who rest not, who think long till they discern as from a hill at the sun's hour of morning song, known of souls only, and those souls free, the sacred spaces of the sea. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Eve of Revolution by Algernon Charles Swinburne Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo The Eve of Revolution 1. The trumpets of the four winds of the world from the ends of the earth blow battle the night heaves with breasts palpitating and wings refurled with passion of couched limbs as one who grieves sleeping and in her sleep she sees uncurled dreams serpent shapen such as sickness weaves down the wild wind a vision caught and whirled dead leaves of sleep thicker than autumn leaves shadows of storm-shaped things flights of dim tribes of kings the reaping men that reap men for their sheaves and without grain to yield their scythe swept harvest field thronged thick with men pursuing and fugitives dead foliage of the tree of sleep leaves blood-colored and golden blown from deep to deep two i hear the midnight on the mountains cry with many tongues of thunders and i hear sound and resound the hollow shield of sky with trumpet-throated winds the charge and cheer and through the roar of the hours that fighting fly, through flight and fight and all the fluctuant fear, a sound sublimer than the heavens are high, a voice more instant than the winds are clear. Say to my spirit, take thy trumpet too, and make a rallying music in the void night's ear, till the storm lose its track, and all the night go back till as through sleep false life knows true life near thou know the morning through the night and through the thunder silence and through darkness light three i set the trumpet to my lips and blow the height of night is shaken the skies break 
the winds and stars and waters come and go by fits of breath and light and sound that wake as out of sleep and perish as the show built up of sleep when all of her strengths forsake the sense compelling spirit the depths glow the heights flash and the roots and summits shake of earth in all her mountains and the inner foamless fountains and wellsprings of her fast-bound forces quake yea the whole air of life is set on fire of strife till change unmake things made in love remake reason and love whose names are one seeing reason is the sunlight shed from love the sun four the night is broken eastward it is day or but the watch fires trembling here and there like hopes on memory's devastated way in moonless waste of planet stricken air o oh, many childed mother great and gray o oh, multitudinous bosom and breast that bear our father's generations whereat lay the weanling peoples and the tribes that were whose new-born mouths long dead those ninefold nipples fed dim face with deathless eyes and withered hair fosterous of obscure lands whose multiplying hands wove the world's web with divers races fair and cast it wafewise on the stream the waters of the centuries where thou satst to dream five o many-minded mother and visionary asia that sawest the westering waters sweep with all the ships and spoils of time to carry and all the fears and hopes of life to keep thy vesture wrought of ages legendary hides usward thine impenetrable sleep and thy veiled head night's oldest tributary we know not if it speak or smile or weep but where for us began the first live light of man and first-born fire of deeds to burn and leap the first war fair as peace to shine and lighten greece and the first freedom moved upon the deep god's breath upon the face of time moving a present spirit seen of men sublime six there where our east looks always to thy west our mornings to thine evenings Greece to thee these lights that catch the mountains crest by crest are they of stars or beacons that we see tejidas takes here the winds abreast and there the sun resumes thermopylae the light is athens where those remnants rest and salamis the sea-wall of that sea the grass men tread upon is very marathon the leaves are of that time unstricken tree that storm nor sun can fret nor wind since she that set made it her sign to men whose shield was she here is dead time his deathless things uratus and cephasus keep their sleepless springs seven o hills of crete are these things dead o waves o many mouthed streams are these springs dry earth dost thou feed and hide now none but slaves heaven hast thou heard of men that would not die is the land thick 
with only such men's graves as were ashamed to look upon the sky ye dead whose name outfaces and outbraves death is the seed of such as you gone by see have thy ports not heard some marathonian word rise up to landward and to godward fly no thunder that the sky sent not upon us rise with fire and earthquake and a cleaving cry nay light is here and shall be light though all the face of the hour be overborne with night eight i set the trumpet to my lips and blow the night is broken northward the pale plains and footless fields of sun-forgotten snow feel through their crevised lips and iron veins such quick breath labor and such clean blood flow as summer-stricken spring feels in her pains when dying may bears june too young to know the fruit that waxes from the flower that wanes strange tyrannies and vast tribes frost-bound to their past lands that are loud all through their length with chains waste where the wind's wings break displumed by day-long ache and anguish of blind snows and rack-blown rains and ice that seals the white sea's lips whose monstrous weights crush flat the sides of shrieking ships nine horrible sights and sounds of the unreached pole and shrill fierce climbs of inconsolable air shining below the beamless oriel that hangs about the north wind's hurtling hair a comet lighted lamp sublime and soul dawn of the dayless heaven where suns despair earth skies and waters smitten into soul feel the hard veil that iron centuries wear rent as with hands in sunder such hands as make the thunder and clothe with form all substance and strip bare shapes shadows sounds and lights of their dead days and nights take soul of life too keen for death to bear life conscience forethought will desire flood men's inanimate eyes and dry drawn hearts with fire ten light light and light to break and melt and sunder all clouds and chains that in one bondage bind eyes hands and spirits forged by fear and wonder and sleek fierce fraud with hidden knife behind there goes no fire from heaven before their thunder nor the links not malleable that wind round the snared limbs and souls that ache thereunder the hands are mighty were the head not blind priest is the staff of king in chains and clouds one thing and fettered flesh with devastated mind open thy soul to see slave and thy feet are free thy bonds and thy beliefs are one in kind and of thy fears thine irons wrought hang weights upon thee fashioned out of thine own thought eleven o soul o god o glory of liberty to night and day their lightning and their light with heat of heart thou kindlest the quick sea 
and the dead earth takes spirit from thy sight. The natural body of things is warm with thee, and the world's weakness a parcel of thy might. Thou seest us feeble and forceless, fit to be slaves of the years that drive us left and right. Drowned under hours like waves, wherethrough we row like slaves. But if thy finger touch us, these take flight. If but one sovereign word of thy live lips be heard, what man shall stop us, and what god shall smite? Do thou but look in our dead eyes, they are stars that light each other till thy sundawn rise. 12. Thou art the eye of this blind body of man, the tongue of this dumb people. Shalt thou not see? Shalt thou speak not for them? Time is wan, and hope is weak with waiting, and swift thought hath lost the wings that heal wherewith he ran. And on the red pit's edge sits down distraught to talk with death of days republican and dreams and fights long since dreamt out and fought of the last hope that drew to that red edge anew the fire-white faith of poland without spot of the blind russian might and fire that is not light of the green rhineland where thy spirit wrought, but through time, hope, and memory tire. Canst thou wax dark as they do, thou whose light is fire? 13. I set the trumpet to my lips and blow. The night is broken westward. The wide sea that makes immortal motion to and fro from world's end unto world's end, and shall be when naught now grafted of men's hands shall grow, and as the weed in last year's waves are we, or spray the sea wind shook a year ago, from its sharp tresses down the storm to lee, the moving God that hides time in its timeless tides, wherein time dead seems live eternity, that breaks and makes again much mightier things than men. Doth it not hear change coming, or not see? Are the deeps deaf and dead and blind, to catch no light or sound from landward of mankind? 14. O thou, clothed round with raiment of white waves, thy brave brows, lightening through the grey wet air, thou, lulled with sea sounds of a thousand caves, and lit with sea shine to thine inland lair, whose freedom clothed the naked souls of slaves, and stripped the muffled souls of tyrants bare. O, oh, by the centuries of thy glorious graves, by the live light of the earth that was thy care, live, thou must not be dead. Live, let thine armed head lift itself up to sunward and the fair daylight of time and man. Thine head, Republican, with the same splendor on thine helmless hair, that in his eyes kept up a light, who on thy glory gazed away their sacred sight. 15. Who loved and looked their sense to death on thee? Who taught thy lips imperishable things, and in thine ears outsang thy singing sea? Who made thy foot firm on the necks of kings, and thy soul some while steadfast? Woe are we, it was but for a while, 
and all the strings were broken of thy spirit yet had he set to such tunes and clothed it with such wings it seemed for his soul's sake impossible to break and woundless of the worm that waits and stings the golden-headed worm made headless for a term the king snake whose life kindles with the springs to breathe his soul upon her bloom and while she marks not turn her temple to her tomb sixteen by those eyes blinded and that heavenly head and the secluded soul adorable o milton's land what ails thee to be dead thine ears are yet sonorous with his shell that all the songs of all thy sea line fed with motive sound of spring tides at mid swell and through thine heart his thought as blood is shed requickening thee with wisdom to do well such sons were of thy womb england for love of whom thy name is not yet writ with theirs that fell but till thou quite forget what were thy children yet on the pale lips of hope is as a spell and shelley's heart and landor's mind lit thee with latter watchfires why wilt thou be blind seventeen though all were else indifferent all that live spiritless shape of nations though time wait in vain on hope till these have help to give and faith and love crawl famished from the gate canst thou sit shamed and self contemplative with soulless eyes on thy secluded fate their time forgive them thee shall he forgive whose choice was in thine hand to be so great who cast out of thy mind the passion of man's kind and made thee and thine old name separate now when time looks to see new names in old and thee build up our one republic state by state england with france and france with spain and spain with sovereign italy strike hands and reign eighteen o known and unknown fountainheads that fill our dear life springs of england o bright race of streams and waters that bear witness still to the earth her sons were made of o fair face of england watch devise death cannot kill how should the soul that lit you for a space fall through sick weakness of a broken will to the dead cold damnation of disgrace such wind of memory stirs on all green hills of hers such breath of record from so high a place from years who tongues of flame prophesied in her name her feet should keep truth's bright and burning trace we needs must have her heart with us whose hearts are one with man's she must be dead or thus nineteen who is against us who is on our side whose heart of all men's heart is one with man's where art thou that wast prophetess and bride when truth and thou trod under time and chance what latter light of what new hope shall guide out of the snares of hell thy feet o france what heel shall bruise these heads that hiss and glide what wind blow out these fen-born fires that dance before thee to thy death no light no life no breath from thy dead eyes and lips 
shall take the trance to on that deadliest crime reddening the feet of time who treads through blood and passes time shall glance pardon and italy forgive and rome arise up whom thou slewest and bid thee live twenty i set the trumpet to my lips and blow the night is broken southward the springs run the day springs and the water springs that flow forth with one will from where their source was one out of the might of morning high and low the hungering hills feed full upon the sun the thirsting valleys drink of him and glow as the heart burns with some divine thing done or as blood burns again in the bruised heart of spain a rose renewed with red new life begun dragged down with thorns and briars that puts forth buds like fires till the whole tree take flower in unison and prince that clogs and priest that clings be cast as weeds upon the dunghill of dead things twenty one ah heaven bow down be nearer this is she italia the world's wonder the world's care free in her heart ere quite her hands be free and lovelier than her loveliest robe of air the earth hath voice and speech is in the sea sounds of great joy too beautiful to bear all things are glad because of her but we most glad who loved her when the worst days were o oh, sweetest fairest first o oh, flower when times were worst thou hadst no stripe wherein we had no share have not our hearts held close kept fast the whole world's rose have we not worn thee at heart who none would wear first love and last love light of lands shall we not touch thee full-blown with our lips and hands twenty two o oh, too much loved what shall we say of thee what shall we make of our hearts burning fire the passion is our lives that fain would be made each a brand to pile into the pyre that shall burn upon thy foemen and set free the flame whence thy sun shadowing wings aspire love of our life what more than men are we that this our breath for thy sake should expire for whom to joyous death glad gods might yield their breath great gods drop down from heaven to serve for hire we are but men are we and thou art italy what shall we do for thee with our desire what gift shall we deserve to give how shall we die to do thee service or how live twenty three the very thought in us how much we love thee makes the throat sob with love and blinds the eyes how should love bear thee to behold above thee his own light burning from reverberate skies they give thee light but the light given them of thee makes faint the wheeling fires that fall and rise what love what life what death of man should move thee what face that lingers or what foot that flies is it not heaven that lights thee with such days and nights but thou that heaven is lit from in such wise o thou her dearest birth turn thee to light in earth 
Earth too that bore thee and yearns to thee and cries. Stand up, shine, lighten, become flame, Till the sun's name through all nations be thy name. 24. I take the trumpet from my lips and sing, O life immeasurable and imminent love, In fear like winter leading hope like spring, Whose flower bright brows the day star sits above, Whose hand unweariable and untiring wing, Strike music from a world that wailed and strove, Each bright soul born in every glorious thing, From very freedom to man's joy thereof. O time, O change and death, Whose now not hateful breath, But gives the music swifter feet to move Through sharp remeasuring tones Of refluent antiphones, more tender tuned than heart or throat of dove. Soul into soul, song into song, life changing into life by laws that work not wrong. 25. O natural force and spirit and sense, that art one thing in all things, fruit of thine own fruit. O thought, illimitable and infinite heart, Whose blood is life and limbs indissolute, That still keeps hurtless thine invisible part, And inextirpable thy viewless root, Whence all sweet shafts of green in each thy dart, Of sharpening leaf and bud, resundering shoot, Hills that the day star hails, heights that the first beam scales, and heights that souls outshining suns salute, valleys for each mouth born, free now of plenteous corn, waters and woodlands musical or mute, free winds that brighten brows is free, and thunder and laughter and lightning of the sovereign sea. 26. Rivers and springs and storms that seek your prey, with strong wings ravening through the skies by night, spirits and stars that hold one coral way, O light of heaven, and thou the heavenlier light, a flame above the souls of men that sway all generations of all years with might. O sunrise of the repossessing day, and sunrise of all renovating right, and thou whose trackless foot mocks hopes or fears pursuit, swift revolution, changing depth with height, and thou whose mouth makes one all songs that seek the sun, serene republic of a world made white, Thou, freedom, whence the soul springs ran, Praise earth for man's sake living, And for earth's sake man. 27. Make yourselves wings, O tarrying feet of fate, And hidden hour that hast our hope to bear. A child god, through the morning-colored gate, that lets love in upon the golden air, dead on whose threshold lies heartbroken hate, dead discord, dead injustice, dead despair. O love long looked for, wherefore wilt thou wait, and show not yet the dawn on thy bright hair, not yet thine hand released, refreshing the faint east, Thine hand reconquering heaven to seat man there? Come forth, be born and live, thou that has helped to give, and light to make man's day of manhood fair. 
with flight outflying the spherid sun hasten thine hour and halt not till thy work be done end a poem this recording is in the public domain a watch in the night by algernon charles swinburne read for LibriVox.org by emma charlotte one watchman what of the night storm and thunder and rain lights that waver and wane leaving the watchfires unlit only the bale fires are bright and the flash of the lamps now and then from a palace where spoilers sit trampling the children of men two prophet what of the night i stand by the verge of the sea banished uncomforted free hearing the noise of the waves and sudden flashes that smite some man's tyrannous head thundering heard among graves that hide the hosts of his dead three mourners what of the night all night through without sleep we weep and we weep and we weep who shall give us our sons Beaks of raven and kite, mouths of wolf and of hound, give us them back whom the guns shot for you dead on the ground. Four dead men, what of the night? Cannon and scaffold and sword, horror of gibbet and cord, mowed us as sheaves for the grave mowed us down for the right we do not grudge or repent freely to freedom we gave pledges till life should be spent five statesmen what of the night the night will last me my time the gold on a crown or a crime looks well enough yet by the lamps have we not fingers to write, lips to swear at a need? Then, when danger decamps, bury the word with the deed. 6. Warrior, what of the night? Whether it be not or be night, it is as one thing to me. I, for one at the least, Ask not of dews if they blight, Ask not of flames if they slay, Ask not of prince or of priest, How long ere we put them away. Master, what of the night? Child, night is not at all, Anywhere fallen or to fall, save in our star-stricken eyes thoth of our eyes it takes flight look we but once nor before nor behind us but straight on the skies night is not then any more eight exile what of the night the tides and the hours run out the seasons of death and of doubt the night watch is bitter and sore in the quicksands leftward and right my feet sink down under me but i know the sense of the shore and the broad blown breaths of the sea nine captives what of the night it rains outside overhead always a rain that is red and our faces are soiled with the rain here in the seasons despite daytime and nighttime are one 
till the curse of the kings and the chain break, and their toils be undone. 10. Christian, what of the night? I cannot tell, I am blind. I halt and hearken behind, if haply the hours will go back, and return to the dear dead light. To the watchfires and stars that of old shone where the sky now is black, glowed where the earth now is cold. Eleven. High priest, what of the night? The night is horrible here, with haggard faces and fear, blood and the burning of fire. Mine eyes are emptied of sight, Mine hands are full of the dust. If the God of my faith be a liar, Who is it that I shall trust? 12. Princes, what of the night? Night with pestilent breath Feeds us children of death. Clothes us close with her gloom, Rapine and famine and fright, Crouch at our feet and are fed. Earth where we pass is a tomb, Life where we triumph is dead. 13. Martyrs, what of the night? Nay, is it night with you yet? We, for our part, we forget What night was, if it were. The loud red mouths of the fight Are silent and shut where we are. In our eyes the tempestuous air Shines as the face of a star. 14. England, what of the night? Night is for slumber and sleep, Warm, no season to weep. Let me alone till the day, Sleep would I still if I might, Who have slept for two hundred years. Once I had honour, they say, But slumber is sweeter than tears. 15. France what of the night? Night is the prostitute's noon. Kissed and drugged till she swoon, Spat upon, trod upon, hoard, With blood-red rose garlands dight, Round me reels in the dance, Death, my saviour, my lord, Crowned, there is no more France. 16. Italy, what of the night? Ah, child, child, it is long. Moonbeam and starbeam and song. Leave it dumb now and dark. Yet I perceive on the height, eastward, not now very far, a song too loud for the lark, A light too strong for a star. 17. Germany, what of the night? Long has it lulled me with dreams, Now at mid-watch as it seems, Light is brought back to mine eyes, And the mastery of old and the might Lives in the joints of mine hands, Steadies my limbs as they rise, Strengthens my foot as it stands. 18. Europe, what of the night? Ask of heaven and the sea, And my babes on the bosom of me, Nations of mine, but ungrown, there is one who shall surely requite All that endure, all that e'er She can answer alone 
Ask not of me, but of her. 19. Liberty, what of the night? I feel not the red rains fall, Hear not the tempest at all, Nor thunder in heaven any more. All the distance is white With the soundless feet of the sun, Night with the woes that it wore, Night is over and done. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Super Fulmina Babylonis by Algernon Charles Swinburne, read for LibriVox.org by Simona Russo. By the waters of Babylon we sat down and wept, remembering thee, that for ages of agony hast endured and slept and wouldst not see by the waters of babylon we stood up and sang considering thee that a blast of deliverance in the darkness rang to set to thee free and with trumpets and thunderings and with morning song came up the light and thy spirit uplifted thee to forget thy wrong as day doth night and thy sons were dejected not any more as then when thou wast shamed when thy lovers went heavily without heart as men whose life was maimed in the desolate distances with a great desire for thy love's sake with our hearts going back to thee were nigh to break it was said to us verily ye are great of heart but ye shall bend ye are bondmen and bondwomen to be scourged and smart to toil and tend and with harrows men harrowed us and subdued with spears and crushed with shame and the summer and winter was and the length of years and no change came by the rivers of italy by the sacred streams by town by tower there was feasting with revelling there was sleep with dreams until thine hour and they slept, and they rioted on their rose-hung beds, with mouths on flame, and with love-locks, vine-chapleted, and with rose-crowned heads and robes of shame. And they knew not their forefathers, nor the hills and streams and words of power, nor the gods that were good to them, but with songs and dreams filled up their hour. By the rivers of Italy, by the dry stream's bed when thy time came there was casting of crowns from them from their young men's heads the crowns of shame by the horn of eridanus by the tiber mouth as thy day rose they arose up and girded them to the north and south by seas by snows as the water in january the frost confines the kings bound thee as the water in april is in the new-blown vines thy sons made free and thy lovers that looked for thee and that mourned from far for thy sake dead we rejoiced in the light of thee in the signal star above thine head in thy grief had we followed thee in thy passion loved loved in thy loss in thy shame we stood fast to thee with thy pangs were moved clung to thy cross by the hillside of calvary we beheld thy blood thy blood-red tears as a mother's in bitterness on an ebbing flood years upon years and the north was gethsemane without leaf or bloom a garden sealed and the south was aseldama for sanguine fume hid all the fields by the stone of the sepulchre we return to weep from far from prison and the guards by it keeping it we beheld asleep but thou wast risen and an angel similitude by the unsealed grave and by the stone and the voice was angelical to whose words god gave strength like his own lo the grave clothes of italy that are folded up in the grave's gloom and the guards as men wrought upon with a charmed cup by the open tomb 
and her body most beautiful, and her shining head, these are not here. For your mother, for Italy, is not surely dead. Have ye no fear? As of old time she spake to you, and you hardly heard, hardly took heed. So now also she saith to you, yet another word, who is risen indeed. By my saying she saith to you, in your ears she saith, who hear these things, put no trust in men's royalties, nor in great men's breath, nor words of kings. For the life of them vanishes, and is no more seen, nor no more known, nor shall any remember him if a crown hath been, or wear a throne. Unto each man his handiwork, unto each crown, the just fate gives, whoso takes the world's life on him, and his own lays down, he, dying so, lives. Whoso bears the whole heaviness of the wronged world's weight, and puts it by, it is well with him suffering, though he face man's fate, how should he die? Seeing death has no part in him any more, no power upon his head. He has bought his eternity with a little hour, and is not dead. For an hour, if ye look for him, he is no more found, for one hour's space. Then ye lift up your eyes to him, and behold him crowned, a deathless face. On the mountains of memory, by the world's well springs, in all men's eyes, where the light of the life of him is on all past things, death only dies. Not the light that was quenched for us, nor the deeds that were, nor the ancient days, nor the sorrows not sorrowful, nor the face most fair of perfect praise. So the angel of Italy's resurrection said, so yet he saith, so the son of her suffering, that from breasts nigh dead, drew life, not death, that the pavement of Golgotha should be white as snow, not red, but white, that the waters of Babylon should no longer flow, and men see light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Halt Before Rome, September 1867, by Algernon Charles Swinburne, read for LibriVox.org by Matthew Squire. You can find me on twitter.com slash m-a-t-t-a-g-h-e-t-t-i. Is it so that the sword is broken, our sword, that was halfway drawn? Is it so that the light was a spark, that the bird we hailed as the lark sang in her sleep in the dark, and the song we took for a token bore false witness of dawn? Spread in the sight of the lion, surely, we said, is the net spread, but in vain, and the snare vain, for the light is aware, and the common, the chainless air, of his coming, whom we all cry on. Surely in vain it is set, surely the day is on our side, and heaven and the sacred sun, surely the stars and the bright, immemorable, instructable night, yea, the darkness, because of our light, is no darkness, but blooms as a bower side when the winter is over and done, blooms underfoot with young grasses, green and with leaves overhead, wind flowers white and with low new dropped blossoms of snow, and or ever the May winds blow, and or ever the March wind passes, flames with anemones red. We are here in the world's bower garden, we that have washed out the snow. Surely the fruitfuller showers, the splendider sunbeams are ours. Shall winter return on the flowers, and the frost after April harden, and the fountains in May not flow? We have in our hands the shining, and the fire in our hearts of a star. Who are we that our tongues should palter? Hearts bow down, hands falter. Who are clothed as with flame from the altar, that the kings from the earth, repining far off, watch from afar? Woe is ours if we doubt or disassemble, woe if our hearts not abide. Are our chiefs not among us, we said, great chiefs, living and dead, to lead us glad to be led? For whose sake, if a man of us tremble, he shall not be on our side? What matter if these lands tarry, that tarried, we said, not of old? 
France, made drunken by fate, England, that bore up the weight, once of men's freedom, a freight, holy, but heavy to carry, for hands overflowing with gold. Though this be lame, and the other fleet, but blind from the sun, and the race be no more to these. Alas, nor the palm to seize, who are weary and hungry of ease. Yet, O freedom, we said, O our mother, is there not left to thee one? Is there not left of thy daughters? Is there not one to thine hand? Fairer than these, and of fame higher than from old by her name, washed in her tears, and in flame bathed as in baptism of waters, unto all men a chosen land. Her hope in her heart was broken, fire was upon her, and clom, hiding her, high as her head, and the world went past her, and said, we heard it say, she was dead. And now, behold, she bath spoken, she that was dead, saying, Rome. O mother of all men's nations, thou knowest if the deaf world heard, heard not now to her lowest depths, where the strong blood slowest beats at her bosom. Thou knowest in her toils, in her dim tribulations, rejoice not, hearing the word. The sorrowful bound unto sorrow, the woe-worn people, and all that were old were discomforted, and the men that famish for bread, and the men that mourn for their dead, she bade them be glad on the morrow, who endured in the day of her thrall. The blind and the people in prison, souls without hope, without home, how glad were they all that heard. When the winged white flame of the word passed over men's dust and stirred death, for Italia was risen, and risen her light upon Rome. The light of her sword in the gateway shone, in unquenchable flame, bloodless, a sword to release, a light from the eyes of peace, to bid grief utterly cease, and the wrong of the old world straightway pass from the face of her fame. Hers, whom we turn to and cry on, Italy, mother of men, from the light of the face of her glory, at the sound of the storm of her story, that the sanguine shadows and hoary should flee from the foot of the lion, lion-like, forth of his den. As the answering of thunder to thunder is the storm-beaten sound of her past, as the calling of the sea unto sea is the noise of her years yet to be, for this ye knew not is she, whose bonds are broken in sunder, this is she at the last. So spake we aloud, high-minded, full of our will, and behold, the speech that was halfway spoken breaks, as a pledge that is broken, as a king's pledge, leaving in token grief only for high hopes blinded, new grief grafted on old. We halt by the walls of the city, within sound of the clash of her chain. Hearing, we know that in there the lioness chafes in her lair, shakes the storm of her hair, struggles in hands without pity, roars to the lion in vain. Whose hand is stretched forth upon her, whose curb is white with her foam, clothed with the clouds of his deeds, swathed in the shroud of his creeds. Who is this that has trapped her and leads, who turns to despair and dishonor her name, her name that was Rome? Over fields without harvest our culture, over hordes without honor or love, over nations that groan with their kings, as an imminent pestilence flings swift death from her shadowing wings, so he who hath claws as a vulture, plumage and beak as a dove. He saith, I am pilot and haven, light and redemption I am unto souls over-labored. He saith, and to all men the blast of his breath is a savior of death unto death, and the dove of his worship a raven, and a wolf cub the life-giving lamb. He calls his sheep as a shepherd, calls from the wilderness home, Come unto me, be fed, to feed them with ashes for bread and grass from the graves of the dead. Leaps on the fold as a leopard, slays, and says, I am Rome. Rome, having rent her in sunder, with the clasp of an adder he clasps. Swift to shed blood are his feet, and his lips, that have man for their meat, smoother than oil and more sweet than honey 
but hidden thereunder festers the poison of asps. As swords are his tender mercies, kisses as mortal stings, under his hallowing hands life dies down in all lands. Kings pray to him, prone where he stands, and his blessings as other men's curses. Disanoint where they consecrate kings. With an oil of unclean consecration, with effusion of blood and of tears, with uplifting of cross and of keys, priests, though thou hollow us these, Yet even as they cling to thy knees, nation awakens by nation, king by king disappears. How shall the spirit be loyal to the shell of a spiritless thing? Erred once in only a word. The sweet great song that we heard poured upon Tuscany, erred, calling a crowned man royal that was no more than a king. Sea eagle of English feather, a song bird beautiful souled, she knew not them that she sang. The golden trumpet that rang from Florence, in vain for them, sprang as a note in the nightingale's weather, far over Fizzole rolled. She saw not, happy, not seeing, saw not as we with her eyes aspermonte. She felt never the heart in her melt, as in us, when the news was dealt, melted all hope out of being, dropped all dawn from the skies. In that weary funeral season, in that heart-stricken grief ridden time, the weight of a king and the worth, with the anger and sorrowful mirth, we weighed in the balance of earth, and light was his word as a treason, and heavy his crown as a crime. Banners of kings shall ye follow, none, and have thrones on your side, none. Ye shall gather and grow silently, row upon row, chosen of freedom to go gladly where darkness may swallow, gladly where death may divide. Have we not men with us royal, men the masters of things? In the days when our life is made new, all souls perfect and true shall adorn whom their forefathers slew, and these indeed shall be loyal, and those indeed shall be kings. Yet for a space they abide with us, yet for a little they stand, bearing the heat of the day. When their presence is taken away, we shall wonder and worship and say, was not a star on our side with us, was not a god at our hand. These, O men, shall ye honor, liberty only, and these, for thy sake and for all men's and mine, brother, the crowns of them shine, lighting the way to her shrine, that our eyes may be fastened upon her, that our hands may encompass her knees. In this day is the sign of her shown to you. Choose ye to live or to die. Now is her harvest in hand, now is her light in the land. Choose ye to sink or to stand, for the might of her strength is made known to you now, and her arm is on high. Serve not for any man's wages, pleasure nor glory nor gold. Not by her side are they one, who saith unto each of you, Son, silver and gold have I none. I give but the love of all ages, and the life of my people of old. Fear not for any man's terrors, wait not for any man's word. Patiently, each in his place, gird up your loins to the race, following the print of her pace, purged of desires and of errors, march to the tune ye have heard. March to the tune of the voice of her, breathing the balm of her breath, loving the light of her skies. Blessed is he on whose eyes dawns but her light as he dies. Blessed are ye that make choice of her, equal to life and to death. Ye that when faith is nigh frozen, ye that when hope is nigh gone, still over wastes, over waves, still among wrecks, among graves, follow the splendor that saves, happy her children, her chosen, loyally led of her on. The sheep of the priests and the cattle that feed in the penfolds of kings, sleek in their flock and well fed, hardly she giveth you bread, hardly a rest for the head, till the day of the blast of the battle and the storm of the wind of her wings. Ye that have joy in your living, ye that are careful to live, you her thunders go by, live, let men be, let them lie, 
serve your season and die. Gifts have your masters for giving. Gifts hath not freedom to give. She without shelter or station, she beyond limit or bar, urges to slumberless speed armies that famish, that bleed, sowing their lives for her seed. That their dust may rebuild her a nation, that their souls may relight her a star. Happy are all that follow her, them shall no trouble cast down. Though she slay them, yet shall they trust in her, for unsure there is naught nor unjust in her, blemishes none, neither rust in her. Though it threaten, the night shall not swallow her, tempest and storm shall not drown. Hither, O strangers, that cry for her, holding your lives in your hands. Hither, for here is your light, where Italy is, and her might. Strength shall be given you to fight, grace shall be given you to die for her, for the flower, for the lady of lands. Turn ye, whose anguish oppressing you, crushes asleep and awake, for the wrong which is wrought as of yore, that Italia may give of her shore, having these things to give and no more, only her hands on you, blessing you, only a pang for her sake, only her bosom to die on, only her heart for a home, and a name with her children to be, from Calabrian to Adrian Sea, famous in cities made free, that ring to the roar of the lion, proclaiming Republican Rome. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Mantana, First Anniversary by Algernon Charles Swinburne Read for LibriVox.org by Matthew Squire At the time when the stars are gray, and the gold of the molten moon fades, and the twilight is thinned, and the sun leaps up, and the wind a light rose, not of the day, a stronger light than of noon, as the light of a face much loved, was the face of the light that clomb, as a mother's whitened with woes, her adorable head that arose, as the sound of a god that is moved, her voice went forth upon Rome. At her lips it fluttered and failed, twice and sobbed into song, and sank as a flame sinks under, then spake, and the speech was thunder, and the cheek, as he heard it paled, of the wrongdoer, grown gray with the wrong. Is it time? Is it time appointed? Angel of time, is it near? For the spent night aches into day, when the kings shall slay not or pray, and the high priest, accursed and anointed, sickens to deathward with fear. For the bones of my slain are stirred, and the seed of my earth in her womb moves as the heart of a bud, beating with odorous blood to the tune of the loud first bird, burns and yearns into bloom. I lay my hand on her bosom, my hand on the heart of my earth, and I feel as with shiver and sob, the triumphant heart in her throb, the dead petals dilate into blossom, the divine blood beat into birth. O oh, my earth, are the springs in thee dry? O oh, sweet, is thy body a tomb? Nay, springs out of springs derive, and summers from summers alive, and the living from them that die. No tomb is here but a womb, O manifold womb and divine. Give me fruit of my children, give. I have given thee my dew for thy root. Give thou me for thy mouth of thy fruit. Thine are the dead that are mine, and mine are thy sons that live. O goodly children, O strong, Italian spirits that wear my glories as garments about you, could time or the world misdoubt you, behold, in disproof of the wrong, the field of the grave pits there. And ye that fell upon sleep, we have you too with us, fairer than life or than youth. Is this to die for the truth? No death can sink you so deep as their graves whom their brethren forget. Were not your pains as my pains, as my name are your names not divine? Was not the light in your eyes mine, the light of my skies? and the sweet shed blood of your veins, O my beautiful martyrs mine. Of mine earth were your dear limbs made, of mine air was your sweet life's breath. At the breasts of my love ye were fed, 
Oh, my children, my chosen, my dead, at the breasts where again ye are laid, at the old mother's bosom in death. But ye that live, O oh, their brothers, but ye to me as they were, give me, my children that live, what these dead grudge not to give, who alive were sons of your mothers, whose lips drew breath of your air. Till darkness by dawn be cloven, let youth's self mourn and abstain, and love self find not an hour, and spring self wear not a flower, and licorice and hair unenwoven, hail back to the banquet in vain. So sooner and surer the glory that is not with us shall be, and stronger the hands that smite the heads of the sons of night, and the sound throughout earth of our story give all men heart to be free. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Blessed Among Women by Algernon Charles Swinburne Read for LibriVox.org by Simona Russo To the Signora Cairoli Blessed was she that bare, hidden in flesh most fair, for all men's sake the likeness of all love, Holy that virgin's womb, the old record saith, On whom the glory of God alighted as a dove. Blessed, who brought to gracious birth The sweet-souled Saviour of a man-tormented earth. But four times art thou blessed, At whose most holy breast Four times a godlike soldier Saviour hung, And thence a fourfold Christ, given to be sacrificed to the same cross as the same bosom clung, poured the same blood to leave the same light on the many-folded mountain skirts of fame. Shall they and thou not leave the children thou didst give forth of thine hands a godlike gift to death, through fire of death to pass for her high sake that was thine and their mother, that gave all you breath shall ye not leave till time drop dead o mother and each her children's consecrated head many brought gifts to take for her love's supreme sake life and life's love pleasure and praise and rest and went forth bare but thou so much once richer and now poorer than all these more than these be blessed, poorer so much, by so much given, than who gives earth for heaven's sake, not for earth's sake heaven. Somewhat could each soul save, what things soever it gave, but thine mother, what has thy soul kept back? None of thine all, not one, to serve thee and be thy son, feed with love all thy days, lest one day lack all thy whole life's love thine heart's whole thou hast given us who gives gladly o thou the supreme soul the heart's pure flesh and blood the heaven thy motherhood the live lips the live eyes that lived on thee the hands that clove with sweet blind clutch to thine the feet that felt on earth their first way to thy knee the little laughter of mouths milk-fed, now open again to feed on dust among the dead. The fair, strong, young man's strength, light of life days and length, and glory of earth seen under and stars above, and ears that bring to tame now the wild falcon fame, now to stroke smooth the dove-white breast of love, the life unlived, the unsown seeds, sons unbeholded, songs unsung, and undone deeds. Therefore shall men's love be, as an own son to thee, and the world's worship of thee for a child. All thine own land is one, newborn, a nursing son, all thine own people, a new birth undefiled, and all the unborn Italian time, and all its glory, and all its works, thy seed sublime. 
that henceforth no man's breath saying italy but saith in that most sovereign word thine equal name nor can one speak of thee but he saith italy seeing in two suns one co-eternal flame one heat one heaven one heart one fire one light one love one benediction one desire blessed above praise and prayer and incense of men's air thy place is higher than where such voices rise as in men's temples make music for some vain sake this god's or that god's in one weary wise thee the soul silent the shut heart the locked lips of the spirit praise thee that thou art yea for man's whole life's length and with man's whole soul's strength we praise thee o holy and bless thee o mother of lights and send forth as on wings the world's heart's thanksgivings song-birds to sing thy days through and thy nights and wrap thee around and arch thee above with the air of benediction and the heaven of love and toward thee our unbreathed words fly speechless winged as birds as the indian flock children of paradise the winged things without feet fed with god's dew for meat that live in the air and light of the utter skies so fleet so flying a footless flight with wings for feet love seeks thee to partake thy sight love like a clear sky spread bends over thy loved head as a new heaven bends over a new-born earth when the old night's womb is great with young stars passionate and fair new planets fiery fresh from birth and moonlight here there hot like mars souls that are worlds shine on thee spirits that are stars till the whole sky burns through with heaven's own heart deep hue with passion colored glories of lit souls and thine above all names writ highest with lettering flames lightens and all the old starriest aureoles and all the old holiest memories wane and the old names of love's chosen found in thy sight vain and crowned heads are discrowned and stars sink without sound and love's self for thy love's sake waxes pale seeing from his storied skies in what new reverent wise thee rome's most highest her sovereign daughters hail thee portia thee veturia gray thee aria thee cornelia roman more than they even all these as all we subdue themselves to thee bow their heads hallowed quench their fiery fame seen through dim ears divine their faint lights feminine sink then spring up rekindled from thy flame fade then reflower and reillume from thy fresh spring their wintering age with new-blown bloom to thy much holier head even theirs the holy and dead bow themselves each one from her heavenward height each in her shining turn all tremble toward thee and yearn to melt in thine their consummated light till from this capitolian dome one glory of many glories lighten upon rome hush thyself song and cease close lips and hold your peace what help hast thou what part have ye herein but you with sweet shut eyes heart hidden memories dreams and dumb thoughts that keep what things have been silent and pure of all words said praise without song the living without dirge the dead thou strengthless in these things song fold thy feebler wings and as a pilgrim go forth girt and shod and where the new graves are and where the sunset star to the pure spirit of men that men call god 
to the high soul of things that is made of men's heavenlier hopes and mightier memories to the elements that make for the soul's living sake this raiment of dead things of shadow and trance that give us chance and time wherein to aspire and climb and set our life's work higher than time or chance the old sacred elements that give the breath of life to days that die to deeds that live to them veiled gods and great there bow thee and dedicate the speechless spirit in these thy weak words hidden and mix thy reverent breath with holier air of death of the high feast of sorrow a guest unbidden till with divine triumphal tears thou fill men's eyes who listen with a heart that hears end of poem this recording is in the public domain the litany of nations by algernon charles swinburne read for librivox.org by matthew squire chorus if with voice of words or prayers thy sons may reach thee we thy latter sons the men thine after birth we the children of thy gray gown age o earth o our mother everlasting we beseech thee by the sealed and secret ages of thy life by the darkness wherein grew thy sacred forces by the songs of stars thy sisters in their courses by thine own song hoarse and hollow and shrill with strife by thy voice distuned and married of modulation by the discord of thy measures march with theirs by the beauties of thy bosom and the cares by thy glory of growth and splendor of thy station by the shame of men thy children and the pride by the pale-cheeked hope that sleeps and weeps and passes as the gray dew from the morning mountain grasses by the white-lipped sightless memories that abide by the silence and the sound of many sorrows by the joys that leapt up living and fell dead by the veil that hides thy hands and breasts and head wrought of divers colored days and nights and morrows isis thou that knowest of god what worlds are worth thou the ghost of god the mother uncreated soul for whom the floating forceless ages waited as our forceless fancies wait on thee o earth thou the body and soul the father god and mother if at all it move thee knowing of all things done here where evil things and good things are not one but their faces are as fire against each other by thy morning and thine evening night and day by the first white light that stirs and strives and hovers as a bird above the brood her bosom covers by the sweet last star that takes the westward way by the night whose feet are shod with snow or thunder fledged with plumes of storm or soundless as the dew by the vesture bound of many folded blue round her breathless breasts and all the woven wonder by the golden growing eastern stream of sea by the sounds of sunrise moving in the mountains by the forces of the floods and unsealed fountains thou that baddest man be born bid man be free greece i am she that made thee lovely with my beauty from north to south mine the fairest lips took first the fire of duty from thine own mouth mine the fairest eyes sought first thy laws and knew them truths undefiled mine the fairest hands took freedom first into them a weanling child by my light now he lies sleeping seen above him where none sees other by my dead that loved and living men that love him chorus hear us o mother italy i am she that was the light of thee enkindled when greece grew dim she whose life grew up with man's free life and dwindled with wane of him she that once by sword and once by word imperial struck bright thy gloom and a third time casting off these years funeral shall burst thy tomb by that bond twixt thee and me whereat affrighted 
thy tyrants fear us. By that hope and this remembrance reunited, chorus, O mother, hear us. Spain. I am she that set my seal upon the nameless, west worlds of seas, and my sons as brides took unto them the tameless as parodies, till my sins and sons through sinless lands dispersed with red flame shod, made accursed the name of man, and thrice accursed the name of God, lest for those past fires the fires of my repentance, hell's fume yet smother. Now my blood would buy remission of my sentence. Chorus, hear us, O mother. France, I am she that was thy sign and stranded bearer, thy voice and cry, she that washed thee with her blood and left thee fairer, the same was I. Were not these the hands that raised thee fallen and fed thee, these hands defiled? Was not I thy tongue that spake, thine eye that led thee, not I thy child? By the darkness on our dreams, and the dead errors of dead times near us, by the hopes that hang around thee, and the terrors, chorus, O mother, hear us. Russia. I am she whose hands are strong, and her eyes blinded, and lips athirst, till upon the night of nations, many-minded, one bright day burst till the myriad stars be molten into one light, and that light thine, till the soul of man be parcel of the sunlight, and thine of mine, by the snows that blanch not him, nor cleanse from slaughter, who slays his brother, by the stains and by the chains on me thy daughter. Chorus, hear us, O mother. Switzerland. I am she that shews on mighty limbs and maiden, nor chain nor stain. For what blood can touch these hands with gold unladen, these feet, what chain? By the surf of spears one shieldless bosom breasted, and was my shield, till the plume-plucked Austrian vulture heads, twin crested, twice drenched the field by the snows and souls untrampled and untroubled that shine to cheer us, light of those to these responsive and redoubled. Chorus. O mother, hear us. Germany. I am she beside whose forest-hidden fountains slept freedom armed. By the magic born to music in my mountains, heart chained and charmed, by those days and very dream whereof delivers my soul from wrong, by the sounds that make of all my ringing rivers, none know what song, by the many tribes and names of my division, one from another, by the single eye of sun-compelling vision, chorus, hear us, O mother. England. I am she that was and was not of thy chosen, free and not free, she that fed thy springs till now her springs are frozen, yet I am she. By the sea that clothed and sun that saw me splendid, and fame that crowned, by the song fires and the sword fires mixed and blended, that robed me round, by the star that Milton's soul for Shelley's lighted, whose rays ensphere us. By the beacon bright republic far off sighted, chorus, O mother, hear us. Chorus, turn away from us the cross blown blasts of error that drown each other. Turn away the fearful cry, the loud tongued terror, O earth, O mother. Turn away their eyes who track their hearts, who follow the pathless past. Shoe the soul of a man, as summer shoes the shallow, the way at last. By the sloth of men that all too long endure men, on man to tread. By the cry of men, the bitter cry of poor men that faint for bread. By the blood sweat of the people in the garden, in walled of kings. By his passion interceding for their pardon, who do these things? By the sightless souls and fleshless limbs that labor for not their fruit, 
by the foodless mouth with foodless hearts for neighbor that mad is mute by the child that famine eats as worms the blossom ah god the child by the milkless lips that strain the bloodless bosom till woe runs wild by the pastures that give grass to feed the lamb in where men lack meat by the cities clad with gold and shame and famine by field and street by the people by the poor man by the master that men call slave by the cross winds of defeat and of disaster by wreck by wave by the helm that keeps us still to sunwards driving still eastward bound till as night watch ends day burn on eyes reviving and land be found we thy children that arraign not nor impeach thee thou no star steer us by the waves that wash the morning we beseech thee o mother hear us end of poem this recording is in the public domain Hertha by Algernon Charles Swinburne Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo Hertha I am that which began. Out of me the years roll. Out of me God and man. I am equal and whole. God changes and man. And the form of them bodily. I am the soul. Before ever land was, before ever the sea, or soft hair of the grass, or fair limbs of the tree, or the flesh-colored fruit of my branches, I was, and thy soul was in me. First life on my sources, first drifted and swam, out of me are the forces that save it or dam out of me man and woman and wild beast and bird before god was i am beside or above me naught is there to go love or unlove me unknow me or no i am that which unloves me and loves i am stricken and i am the blow I the mark that is missed, and the arrows that miss, I the mouth that is kissed, and the breath in the kiss, the search and the sought and the seeker, the soul and the body that is. I am that thing which blesses my spirit elate, that which caresses with hands uncreate, my limbs unbegotten that measure the length of the measure of fate but what thing dost thou now looking godward to cry i am i thou art thou i am low thou art high i am thou whom thou seekest to find him find thou but thyself thou art i I the grain and the furrow, the plough cloven clod, and the ploughshare drawn thorough, the germ and the sod, the deed and the doer, the seed and the sower, the dust which is God. Hast thou known how I fashioned thee, child, underground? Fire that impassioned thee, iron that bound dim changes of water what thing of all these hast thou known of or found canst thou say in thine heart thou hast seen with thine eyes with what cunning of art thou wast wrought in what wise by what force of what stuff thou wast shapen and shone on my breast to the skies who hath given who hath sold it thee knowledge of me hath the wilderness told it thee hast thou learnt of the sea 
Hast thou communed in spirit with night? Have the winds taken counsel with thee? Have I set such a star to show light on thy brow, that thou sawest from afar what I show to thee now? Have ye spoken as brethren together, the sun and the mountains and thou? What is here, dost thou know it? What was, hast thou known? Prophet, nor poet, nor tripod, nor throne, nor spirit, nor flesh can make answer, but only thy mother alone. Mother, not maker, born and not made, though her children forsake her, allured or afraid, praying prayers to the God of their fashion, she stirs not for all that have prayed. A creed is a rod, and a crown is of night, but this thing is God, to be man with thy might, to grow straight in the strength of thy spirit, and live out thy life as the light. I am in thee to save thee, as my soul in thee saith. Give thou, as I gave thee, thy life-blood and breath, green leaves of thy labor, white flowers of thy thought, and red fruit of thy death. Be the ways of thy giving as mine were to thee, the free life of thy living be the gift of it free. Not as servant to lord, nor as master to slave, shalt thou give thee to me. O children of banishment, souls overcast, where the lights ye see vanish meant always to last. Ye would know not the sun overshining the shadows and stars overpast. I that saw where ye trod, the dim paths of the night, set the shadow called God in your skies to give light. But the morning of manhood is risen, and the shadowless soul is in sight. The tree many-rooted that swells to the sky, with frondage red-fruited, the life-tree am I. In the buds of your lives, as the sap of my leaves, ye shall live and not die. But the gods of your fashion, that take and that give, in their pity and passion, that scourge and forgive, they are worms that are bred in the bark that falls off, they shall die and not live. My own blood is what staunches the wounds in my bark, Stars caught in my branches make day of the dark, and are worshipped as suns till the sunrise shall tread out their fires as a spark. Where dead ages hide under the live roots of the tree, in my darkness the thunder makes utterance of me. In the clash of my boughs with each other ye hear the waves sound of the sea. That noise is of time, as his feathers are spread and his feet set to climb through the boughs overhead, and my foliage rings round him and rustles, and branches are bent with his tread. The storm winds of ages blow through me and cease, the war wind that rages, the spring wind of peace, ere the breath of them roughen my tresses, ere one of my blossoms increase. All sounds of all changes, all shadows and lights, on the world's mountain ranges and stream-riven heights, whose tongue is the wind's tongue in language of storm clouds on earth-shaking nights. All forms of all faces, all works of all hands in unsearchable places of time-stricken lands, all death and all life, and all rains and all ruins, drop through me as sands. Though sore be my burden, and more than ye know, and my growth have no guerdon, 
but only to grow. Yet I fail not of growing for lightnings above me or deathworms below. These too have their part in me, as I too in these. Such fire is at heart in me, such sap is this tree's, which hath in it all sounds and all secrets of infinite lands and of seas. In the spring-colored hours, when my mind was as maize, there break forth of me flowers by centuries of days, strong blossoms with perfume of manhood, shot out from my spirit as rays. In the sound of them springing and smell of their shoots, where is warmth and sweet singing and strength to my roots, and the lives of my children made perfect with freedom of soul were my fruits. I bid you but be, I have need not of prayer, I have need of you free, as your mouse of mine air that my heart may be greater within me, beholding the fruits of me fair. More fair than strange fruit is, of faith ye spouse, in me only the root is, that blooms in your boughs. Behold now your God that ye made you, to feed him with faith of your vows. In the darkening and whitening, abysses adored, with day spring and lightning, for lamp and for sword. God thunders in heaven, and his angels are red with the wrath of the Lord. O oh, my sons, O oh, too dutiful, toward gods, not of me. Was not I enough beautiful? Was it hard to be free? For behold, I am with you, am in you, and of you. Look forth now and see. Lo, Winged with world's wonders, with miracles shod, with the fires of his thunders for raiment and rod, God trembles in heaven, and his angels are white with the terror of God. For his twilight has come on him, his anguish is here, and his spirits gaze dumb on him, grown gray from his fear, and his hour taketh hold on him stricken, the last of his infinite year. Thought made him and breaks him, truth slays and forgives, but to you, as time takes him, this new thing it gives. Even love, the beloved republic that feeds upon freedom and lives. For truth only is living, truth only is whole, and the love of his giving man's pole star and pole man pulse of my center and fruit of my body and seed of my soul one birth of my bosom one beam of mine eye one topmost blossom that scales the sky man equal and one with me man that is made of me man that is i End a poem. This recording is in the public domain.